Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, can we just say that one more time? God is good. Come on, can we just say it a little bit louder? God is good. How many know there's reason to celebrate this morning? Amen. We've got reason to celebrate. Our God is God and he is good. Well, welcome to Jubilee on a Sunday morning, our second meeting here this morning at 11 a.m. or thereabouts. Uh, we always like to take the opportunity to welcome anyone if this happens to be your very first time here. Our ushers have some information about our church that they would like to place directly into your hands this morning. And so if this is your first time here, could you just simply lift your hands so that our ushers can see you? and just they want to give you that information right there in the back and right there can we give our guests a very warm loud jubilee welcome this morning praise god it's so good to have you here in the house of god with us um, there are connection cards located on the seat directly in front of you uh, if you take one of those connection cards out fill it out in its entirety at the time of the offering you can just deposit it in there also immediately following this meeting if you walk out of the back doors of our auditorium and look to the left on your way out uh, there's going to be a small reception and we just want you to stop by and and uh, have the opportunity to shake your hand say hello to you and get to know your name and we would love for you to get connected here so so we're very grateful that you're here with us this morning and just make yourself at home. God's got something awesome in store for you. Well, uh, if you look in your bulletins, we have a couple of things that we want to highlight out of the bulletin and um, so that you could be aware of them. The first thing that we're going to highlight this morning is our, our annual fall conference. It is coming up October 3rd through the 7th, and uh, the theme is Unlocking Supernatural Power. How many of you just feel expectation by reading that, right? Unlo unlocking Supernatural Power, and this is our Stronger Conference that takes place every fall. And uh, it's really going to be a supernatural time. And we're not just saying that just to say that, but we're believing for the Spirit of God to show up and do what only He can do. When we have these conferences and these meetings, it's always a time where God comes and there's a fresh visitation where He speaks into the house and He just sets us up for what He's doing for the next season for this house. And so there are many, many opportunities that we have to come together as a church and for each member to be a part of the conference, especially by serving everybody say serving all right see it's not a bad word right and so there are sign-up sheets located out in the foyer different uh, opportunities the whatever area you're graced in or gifted in there is a place for you and I to serve to come together and make this conference a success and make it work and so please take the time to stop by the sign-up table and put your name down on one of those sign-up sheets also on Monday September 24th at 6 p.m. we're gonna have a short meeting with all of our volunteers followed by a corporate prayer meeting for the conference and so please make plans to attend that as well also coming up this week we have pursuit 31 women do you enjoy pursuit 31 all right about five of you do that's okay let's just get the rest of them excited about it but it is happening thursday uh, september 20th at 6 p.m and you won't want to miss that it happens every thursday of each month friendship encouragement fellowship and food and it's really going to be an awesome time for you this week ladies and so also i just want to put in a quick note um, the women's encounter is happening or should be wrapping up but the, today was the last day for the women's encounter and I just can't wait to hear all of the testimonies of the women who come back from this encounter how their lives have been touched and changed and transformed by Jesus amen and so they're going to be telling their testimonies and ladies if you missed out on this encounter it's okay there will be another women's encounter that rolls around and you really need to be a part of that and so we can't wait to hear the those testimonies now before we go back into worship I'm just really stirred up in my faith this morning and the atmosphere in this place you know I was thinking to myself earlier that the 11 a.m. people who typically attend the 11 a.m. service you kind of you kind of have the atmosphere already set for you you know because we've already worshiped and we've already preached and the atmosphere is already set and you just kind of get to come in and, and enjoy what the Spirit of God wants to do but I want to share a testimony to you uh, before we go into worship uh, this morning and so um, this past Friday our pastor, uh, Pastor Ballinger, suffered a mild stroke, and he was really having a rough go of it from Friday morning, uh, just pretty much all day Friday. And um, we spent 
uh, a considerable amount of time just at pastor's side praying and we know uh, intercessors and other people were praying and then by the time we got to Friday evening uh, early Friday evening his you know uh, all throughout the day of course he, he couldn't really put his words together like he wanted to he was having trouble breathing his blood pressure was sky high and and by the time they got to Friday evening um, quite honestly the doctors weren't really sounding really good you know they were saying stuff like uh, you know the the choice to resuscitate and things like that and it was a very serious situation and where normal people would probably give up and just kind of count their losses and walk away how many know we're not normal and there was a concert of prayer that went up from the people in this house, people all around the world, people in different parts of the country. There was a concert of prayer. But I hadn't even got to the best part yet. Pastor was in ICU later on Friday afternoon. And the report was that he would have to stay in ICU for at least five days. That's how bad his condition was, at least five days. And then... By the time we got to Friday night and, and Saturday, yesterday, I heard these reports and people were telling me, and I got the emails, um, that he was up, he was talking, he was walking around, and right now, right now, the man that was supposed to be in ICU for five days is sitting at home right now, and he's probably watching this meeting because God is in control, and he is a healer, and there is no one like him. We can stand up in the house of God, and we can give God glory. We can give him glory. Come on, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Come on, don't stop. Let's give him glory. Let's give him glory. Shout, come on, don't stop. Let's just keep it going for a little bit. Let's just keep it going. He is good. He is good. Now listen. But not only that, while our pastor is at home, we know the accident that Trey McClendon had a couple of weeks ago. And you know what? He's, he was laying in the bed, couldn't move anything at first. But I'm telling you, yesterday and even, be, even, even before that, he was starting to feel like, I guess at some point he said he felt like his legs were on fire. And I watched with my own eyes yesterday, as other people did as well, as he has feeling in his feet, he can move his toes, he can push back. You know what? God is a healer. Let's just keep giving him glory. Let's just keep giving God glory. Lord, we honor you today. You're the healer. You're the healer. We celebrate today, God. We celebrate today because you're the healer, God. You're the healer. You're the healer. And so we're not going to stop believing. We're not going to stop contending because there's still a tumor in Pastor's body that God is going to deal with. Can somebody say amen? Amen. And our brother Trey still has a, has a ways to go, but God is strengthening his body and restoring him, and he will walk again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're not afraid to say these things because this is not based on who we are. It's based on who God is. So I want you to know something this morning. I don't care where you are. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're walking through. We're worshiping a Jesus who is the healer. And he's never changed. He's always been the healer. He's the healer right now. And the healer is in this room. Can we just lift our hands to him in this atmosphere and begin to worship him? Come on, we let every bit of heaviness right now in the name of Jesus. Just go right now. Fear is leaving right now as we worship. Spontaneous healing is going to happen as we worship. God is going to move and do what he can only do as we worship. Lord, we worship you. We worship you, God. Come on, just continue to worship, church. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Come on. Just keep worshiping. 